Thumbs up. Here we go. Round 11 of the World Rallycross Championship. Are we going to crown a champion today? The current champion and the champion elect are on row one together. Great start by all six cars. Solberg, though, is level with Ekstrom up towards turn one. Ekstrom's going to run wide. Up the inside, Kevin Hansen. Absolutely no mercy. Kevin Erickson all the way round the outside. That's an outrageous move. Kevin Erickson started the weekend into the lead from Petter Solberg. Andreas backwards going to look up the inside of Solberg down the back end of the straight. Christopherson and Ekstrom is down in P6. Well, there aren't many people that can say they drove round the outside of Solberg at turn one. Kevin <laughs> Erickson, the, the Virtuosity of youth got him there. Absolutely stunning move, not around the outside of everyone. Into the joke lap goes Kevin Hansen on the first lap. Ekstrom in P6, a lead of 33, so he's got to get away from here with a lead of 30 or more. So I'm going to be, we'll be hoping that he can take the win here and bring that gap down, but it's super tight between them. We'll have to look at the points when we get to the end of the race, but not the start that Ekstrom was looking for. No, definitely not. He was a little bit too cautious and every other car. It was an even start by all six, but everyone else went for it. Petter Solberg was the Monster Energy Supercharger when he was first into Turn 1, but not first out, because this man, Kevin Erickson, this very young man, who, I have to say, hasn't threatened like this all season long. This is an absolutely brilliant drive so far. I wonder if he'll be able to hold on towards the end of the race. Into the joke lap, Matthias Ekstrom goes. I wonder if Ekstrom's got some sort of a problem, because he's just not on the pace here. Kevin Hansen gets out in front of him. So the championship might go down to the last round after all. Well, I didn't think that Ekstrom had the pace in his semi-final, and he's certainly not showing it here in the final either. There are people banging their hands down in the... Oh, there's Chris Thompson's guys. I heard a huge bang behind us. It's Tommy Chris Thompson just outside the commentary box, and that's because Johan's lost the rear tyre. Last time this happened, last time this happened, it backed everybody in together, but he's further down the field this time. Chris Thompson gets out of the way behind him of Hansen and Ekstrom, and he's going to drop down the field now. That puts Ekstrom up one place. As it stood coming into this lap, Ekstrom wouldn't have taken the championship, but he is now one place further ahead. We'll bring in another update as soon as we've got it. Yeah, great driving by Ekstrom now. He's found his pace a little bit more. He's up behind Kevin, Kevin Hansen, trying to get that extra place, and the points are going with it. He is indeed. Kevin Erickson holding on brilliantly here from Solberg. I'm wondering about Solberg's joker tactics here. Remember, there's three extra points up and grabs for that win compared to second place. Solberg surely is going to release it. He does. Good spot, Tim Harvey. Solberg into the Joker, nips the handbrake on the inside. Going to try and get out in front of Kevin Hansen. Hansen's on the gas on the tarmac, but Solberg's got it done, so Solberg's out in front. And that would suggest that the guys who are with him could maybe go too backward and might end up dropping back. We need to think about when backward Jokers, is he going to drop back behind Extra? And is that going to make, give Extra the points he needs? He's not that quick, is he? No, he messed up that first corner, nearly hit the inside barrier. Bailey, you would have hit it himself. And uh, did come out of the corner very quickly at all. At the minute, the gap is 30 points. That would make Matthias Ekstrom the World Rallycross champion here in Germany. So he can count back, and he's got more wins than anybody else so far this season. So, as it stands with Ekstrom in P5, he would be the World Rallycross champion here. But I think if Solberg can take the lead, then it would go to Argentina. So this is going to come down to whether or not Kevin Erickson can withstand the pressure on the last lap here at Buskehuda. I think he can. He's driven absolutely fantastically. Got a 2.1 second lead over Solberg. So. Kevin Erickson could be on course to do it here. Kevin Erickson, if he holds off Solberg, he's got to take his joke lap and do so, because if Solberg gets the eight points, I think he'll be within shouting distance to Matthias Ekstrom. We might know from the reaction to the team, but Kevin Erickson is going to come round and take a brilliant victory here at Buxtehude, but bringing up the rear in P5, Matthias Ekstrom, I think he's going to be the World Rallycross champion 2016 as he crosses the line for P5. And the EKS team are celebrating up in the spotters tower. They've done the same maths that we have. Ekstrom in P5. It's not the result he would have wanted to take the title, but DTM gave him the weekend off. And he's come here and he's won the title in Germany with Kevin Erickson. Let's not forget this. It's his first ever win in the World Rallycross Championship. Unfortunately, he did it on the weekend that we crowned a World Rallycross champion. But that's an absolutely fantastic result. Well, it's going to be an awful lot of emotion on the podium, Tim. There was. And what a brilliant drive he had. Round the outside of Solberg, the fastest man so far this weekend. And he deserved that win.